Hello there and welcome to another video from Change Tips and Tools. Now, I did a short on how to create data for Lotto in seconds and Candice Smith 189 asked me in the comments to start from a blank sheet. So here we go Candice, this is for you. Let's do this. So here are my blank spreadsheet. Well, I've, I've laid it out based on what I want to create. So I've got my random numbers that I want to create to pick from between one and 59. I've then got my lottery numbers and I want to understand how many occurrences that I've randomly generated. So let's take these two first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rand array function to generate my random numbers. And let's really go to town here. I'm going to create 200,000 random numbers between 1 and 59. Because I'm doing this for the UK lottery and we have six numbers between 1 and 59 in the UK lottery. But you can do it for wherever you want. So I'm going to do equals rand array there. So I'm going to do 200,000 rows. And I'm going to do comma. The next argument is the columns. I don't need any columns, so I'm just going to skip that. And then my lowest uh, number to, to uh, in my random selection is I'm going to do one. So it's a bit like the, it's exactly the same as the RAM between. So I'm going to do one for my lowest number or the min. And then I'm going to do 59, which is the max. I'm going to do comma. And then I want integers. I don't want any decimal places in the random numbers that I generate. So I'm going to select true there for Integra. I'm then going to close the bracket and then instantaneously it's created a 200,000 random numbers between 1 and 59. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create um, a list between 1 and 59. So a sequence. So I'm going to use the sequence function. So I'm going to do equals sequence and then I'm going to do 59. So from 1 to 59, and there you go. And you'll notice these keep regenerating because it's a random number, and each time Excel recalculates, it will regenerate those random numbers there, just to bear that in mind. So now I've got my sequence of numbers between 1 and 59. I now want to understand how many occurrences have appeared in these random generated numbers here. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to do a count if function. So I'm going to do equals count if my range is going to be the random array. And I'm going to do hash to include the spill range. I'm then going to do comma. And my criteria is going to be this sequence here between 1 and 59. I'm going to do hash again to include that spill range. I'm going to close the bracket and now it's counted each one of these and how many times it's appeared or occurred in this randomly generated number, all 200,000 iterations. So now what I want to do is I want to find, for to create my lotto numbers, I want to know what was the, the top occurrence, so which number occurred the most. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sequence here. I'm going to do equals, just for my reference here. I'm going to do six, because I want six numbers. And what I want is I want the, the first, the top one, number one, the one that's appeared the, the most here. I then want the second, third, and fourth, fifth, and sixth largest appearances here. And I don't want to duplicate it. So the way that I'm going to do the first one, that's easy. I'm going to use the large function. I'm going to do equals large. My array is going to be this range here. And I'm going to do hash to include the spill range. And then K argument is, do I want the first, largest, second, third? So obviously I want the first. So I'm going to select this reference here and close the bracket. So I want the first, largest. And hit return. So 3526 is the largest number of occurrences in here. Now, what I want to do now is find the second, third, and fourth largest set of occurrences. 
but I don't want a repeat here because obviously I want different lotto numbers generated here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equals large again, but I'm going to use the if statement because I want to exclude this number of occurrences from the consideration. So I'm going to do if open bracket and I'm going to ask if this spill range here, and I'm going to do F4 to make it absolute because I want to be able to drag it down. I'm going to do hash to include that whole spill range is less than this number here. Then select it from this range. So I'm going to select it again. Do F4 to make it absolute and do hash to include the spill range. I'm going to close the bracket on that if statement then I'm going to do comma because wherever it selects then I want the second or wherever it's considering in that range is I want it to be the second largest from that number there and I'm going to close the bracket and hit return so I've now got the second la um, second largest number of occurrences and I'm going to drag that down so I get the third the fourth and so on so let me drag that down and there you go so now I've got unique set of occurrences. Now all I need to do is to find where does that appear to give me the lotto number. So let me just put for reference here again, sequence, do six, because I want my six lottery numbers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the match function. So the match function will, will return where it finds this in an array so it'll return the row number for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do equals match so my lookup value is going to be this value here i'm then going to do comma my lookup array is going to be this array here i'm going to do f4 to make it absolute and do hash I'm then going to do comma because I want an exact match, which is zero there. So I'm going to select that, close the bucket, and hit return. So there it's returned eight. So it's found something in row eight, which should be there. So 3515, row eight. So we go to lottery number eight, and there's that 3515. So there you go, it's now returned that lottery number. Let me drag that down. And there you go. It's now randomly created my lottery numbers. And if I press F9, that will recalculate like so. And again, I can do it again. And that's how I've generated my lottery numbers randomly in an instant. Well, I hope that helped, uh, Candice. Um, please let me know in the comments. And also, if anyone wants help or has more ideas for videos that they want to see in Excel, please leave them in the comments. And remember, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button for future content. And as always, I wish you an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Please take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next video from Change Tips and Tools. Bye bye now.